I'm surprised I ever got out of there alive. I'm surprised I ever got out of there alive. It's empty. It can't do anything without a new diamond. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. To do. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! I've got the plans! Quick! We have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Yes! Down the toilet. No! Through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. <laughs>